Well, hello again. Uh, Pete here. This is an update on the sort of uh, wheels, tyres and chassis of the 55. Because um, of where I got to the other day and rummaging around parts, um, I thought I'd better get this the, a sort of chassis going with this to sort of just get some ideas in my head and, and sort a few things out. Um, this was a Camaro wheel I was using. I um, came with the junk, junk spares I was using. So I was thinking about using those. But in the box I, I got um, two wheel options and all the tyres. There's eight tyres in this kit, which is a bonus. You've got these white walls and I've just popped a stock hubcap on there. You know, these pad printed white walls or the pad printed red stripes. Is that pad printing? I don't know whether they do it with a decal or not. I don't know. But those five spokes. And I was thinking about using these rather chunky looking treaded uh, AMT tyres. What are they? Good year, something or other. Rally GTs. Um, to have a bit of chunkiness in, in the in the tread pattern uh, like of a rugged pickup truck and this on on the bottom bit nothing to do with it. Uh, this engine I, I was also orange and thinking of using so that, that's that's it's set up with the Goodyear uh, Rally GTs but then I was you know, having to jig my um, axles up and that up, they're not. F neither of them are from this kit. Um, all coming out of the spare box. So I'm working on, you know, just getting it all jigged up properly. I've got to take the rear axle back a couple of mil, um, just to where I've dangled it in. It's all sort of just loosely glued in place. Um, but apart from that, everything seems to be sitting nice. The front axle I've used is from the 55 Bel Air. Now it's from the 55 Nomad, but I think it's the same in a Bel Air kit. So I'll just get this to yank round. I don't know whether I can see underneath it at all without it all rolling off. Anyway, so I'm working with a... I know that's dark and dingy. Hang on. Could be a trick of the light. I don't think get any light under there. Yeah, my drilling is not going to show up, is it? So I've got a drilled axle in under there. And if you notice, that tire's a lot skinnier. Because I quite like the idea of um, doing... Uh, rotate your skillet. Uh, this is all rocking around. But I'm thinking of going up in the air a bit. <laughs> so it's all sort of semi-jigged up. Where am I now? Let's move over. Um, I'm doing something like this. Getting a very airborne uh, gasser dragster thing. Like so I want to move the uh, axle back a couple of more. You can see that more so with this. I, I don't don't know how attached that is. Yeah, it's on the axle. So that's got to come back a few mil. I used, uh, you can see them under there, jacking blocks from an old Corvette. Um, and as I say, the front axles from the 55. I also noticed when I was playing with this engine uh, and sizing everything up, that there is a hell of a lot of space in this engine bay. It is massive. There is loads of room in there. So I'm going to add a bigger engine. I've been looking around my uh, spares box and I can get this rat motor in there with a blower Or possibly maybe loop up Stig's turbos and have a twin turbo set up in there. There is absolutely an abundance of room. I 
and I've got this nestled in there uh, with the pipes dangling down there. There's loads of clearance for any engine you wanted to put in here. Um, it needs to come up just a shifty, but you know, and that and that's tagger. But there's there's loads of room under there. I thought like, that'll look good. Well, it does look good. <coughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to adjust the suspension so as I'm a really riding high drag racing guy. <laughs> and probably use those orange wheels still. But I've got to skinny the front wheels down because of the skinniness of the tyre. But this is the way I'm going to go. A jacked up gasser thing. Bye for now. Best wishes from jolly old England.